Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Amor Nyalosi. Uh, I work uh, with the organization called the Open Map Development Tanzania, uh, which operates uh, across Tanzania. Uh, we are working promoting community mapping projects and uh, open, the use of open data sources, softwares, and the use of um, uh, uh, open data. Uh, so um, last year, uh, through the support from the Humanitarian Policy Map team, through the Audacious Project, we received funding to support local communities uh, across Tanzania. And the goal, the goal of the problem, the problem was um, to provide funding to uh, different communities in Tanzania to add more resources to them uh, so they can grow, like uh, buying, um, creating uh, mapping events, uh, buying a lot of uh, mapping, uh, uh, mapping, tech, tech, uh, mapping equipments like mobile phones, uh, computers, in the criterias, uh, as they are seeing the screen, like for people to have community defined goals, partnership, inclusivity, collaboration. Um, and expansion. The program was supposed to take to three or six months um, duration. Uh, and these were among uh, organizations that uh, received the funding. Uh, they, they were seven uh, across the whole country. Uh, our country is a little bit huge, uh, and we are trying to not focus on the big cities, just even pale urban um, areas. And they are working in different areas. Some were working in malnutrition, collecting data for malnutrition by using open source tools. Some were collecting data by, uh, for soil waste management for flood resilience. Um, and this was a success that, um, for the six months that have been, uh, we've been come across. Uh, firstly, we've managed to transform um, uh, these communities from using traditional methods for data collection to uh, digital methods. Uh, some of them were less exposed to open source software, so through this, they got a chance to use funding to, uh, to, be, to be able to engage into using digital data collection methods. And also, we support the expansion of youth mappers. Uh, in Tanzania, we have a lot of uh, youth mappers chapter, uh, and three uh, chapters have been able to receive funding, and, uh, and the good thing with them, uh, two chapters were able to use this uh, project to, to Request for more funding, and two of organized, two of chapters they receive extra funding. One received from a World Meteorological Organization to scale up their own project in other uh, in other areas. Also, we connect to awesome communities in Tanzania uh, by encouraging each other to collaborate uh, in in mapping uh, events such as mapathons and um, training events. And also, uh, all of them um, for for the whole time they managed to uh, uh, to map more than. Uh, 44 build, 44,000 building, 500 kilometer flood, and um, more than a thousand uh, amenities. All of them have been uploaded uh, to Open Map. And one thing that we are looking more eager to them is was uh, to include to include more female and uh, uh, marginalized groups. And 49% uh, of female mapper were included in the uh, in the in the mapping. And uh, the map you are seeing now is one of the chapter, youth mapper chapter that we, are, we made. And this was supposed to be delivered to the uh, government of Zanzibar for uh, improving education system uh, in Zanzibar. Uh, what we have come to learn uh, is this was the first project in OMDTZ to, to provide the funding to other, not even to provide funding, even to work with uh, local, uh, other OSM communities in Tanzania. So. Uh, what we have learned are most of uh, OSM awesome communities in Tanzania have um, limited access um, to, to open source tools, open mapping tools, uh, such, as even, such as smartphones and laptops. Um, even uh, also uh, most communities are less exposed to OSM awesome tools. So this was the biggest chance to them to use this funding to get to know more uh, about um, open source softwares. Uh, and also um, Tanzania has a lot, a lot of uh, Local communities that are working together to 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 create to solve local problems in the in the area of, of interest in the area of living, but they lack they lack exposure of open mapping software sources. So uh, that's it. Uh, for more, uh, you can read it. we write a lot of blogs and there are slides. And if you scan this QR code, you can get a lot of information about the organization and uh, other books. Yeah, thank you.